All right, I want to take a minute and just talk about the three different methods which you can update this GPS. Okay, so again, this is the GPS right here. And this card is where the data is actually stored. That's my understanding anyways. So there's three methods. One, you can get a new card. So you can get on a, uh, with, with Honeywell or Bendix or whoever it is now, uh, you can get out a program where they, they mail you new cards, you send them the old cards, uh, you just pull that one out, put a new one in. I think that's quite expensive. Um, the second option, uh, which is a little less expensive, but I, I think it's, or maybe it's the same cost as what I'm doing now, but you have to have a, another device, is to take the card out, put it in a uh, card reader or a, I don't even know what it's called, I'll find out. Anyways, and then update it out of the airplane and put it back in the airplane once the new data is flashed. The third way, which is what I'm going to be doing, is updating it through this COM port. So using a PC, uh, Windows-based PC, to update it through that COM port. To do that, uh, I needed to purchase uh, a cable. Um, this is the cable. It's a RS-232 uh, female on that side. And then the headphone jack, which goes into that COM port on this side. Of course, the computer I have uh, in my lap right now doesn't have an RS-232 uh, out, so I had to get an adapter. Okay, So here we have the RS-232 male adapter, uh, which goes to a USB. Okay. So again, USB to RS-232 male, 232 female to the COM port. So I'm going to get it all set up, and we'll pick it back up there. Okay, so I'm going to try and be as thorough as I can here, uh, because I know other people are going to attempt this. And I'll just tell you if it didn't work or if it did work, and uh, we'll learn together. What I've done is I've fired up, uh, the, turned the master on, fired the avionics up, so you can see my radio's on, my uh, my GPS is on. I do have a battery charger, just trickle charging the battery right now, because I hear this takes 15 or 20 minutes, and I want to make sure that uh, we maintain good juice. So again, GPS is on. I've uh, hooked up the cable, so it says press it in, put it in firmly, which I did, and I got all of this cabling uh, hooked up to my computer, okay, with no programs running right now. Before I did this, I downloaded the GPS loader, which you can see right here uh, from Honeywell's uh, website. To get that database, uh, I did have to first come to my airplane. I had to go over to the set pages. So here's set one, and I had to go to set two, and then over to set three. And I had to get that key. Uh, you have to punch that key in before you download any database. Um, and of course it gives you a warning, updated on the ground only, which I am firmly on terra firma, okay? So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open this database loader right here. I think. Yep, she's spinning. This is not the newest computer, but I think that'll be alright. Okay, and then it's going to say, what GPS are you going to update? Okay, and I am updating a KLN94. You can see it, it appears that this loader works for many different devices, but a 94 is what we're gonna update. So just one click there, okay? It says select database update file. Mine happens to be on the desktop. So we're gonna go to the desktop and database. I can tell that I named that well. Would you like to update your KLN94? I've never done this before, so we're going to go forward. Would you like to update your KLN94 AM USA database? It's connected to the PC's COM port using a data loader. It's Oh, that's what that other device is called, an image mate. That is not what I'm doing, and the card is certainly not inserted into any PC, P, whatever. I am connected right to it. So I'm going to say OK. Verify the information below is correct. It's on desktop. Yes. 
We're going to update to KLN94 USA. Yes. Database key 96817 Bravo Delta. Bravo. 96817 Bravo Delta Bravo. Here goes nothing. Quick start. Okay. So what this is saying, I just read it real quickly. Uh, not very fast or not thoroughly so I'll read it thoroughly after I shut this down but it says hey install your drivers uh, with the CD that was br brought to you luckily this computer has a CD drive so I'm gonna do that and I'll be back with you all right so as I mentioned I was using this uh, RS-232 to USB adapter this is the one I used Ben Fi uh, bought it off Amazon yesterday it's like eight bucks pretty cheap came with a CD drive I'm sure I could probably find the driver or CD-ROM I'm sure I could probably find the driver online but i had the cd and a cd port or a cd rom drive so i just used it anyways i just installed the driver just finished that so we're going to try this again so again we're going to click on kln 94 b or kln 94 uh, and we're going to use this database and we're saying it's connected to the com port 96817 Bravo Delta Bravo. That is correct. And click start. Hey oh, now we're getting somewhere. So it automatically found it, COM port 3. Okay, so now it says go to set 3 page of the KLN 94. And it asked me at. Oh says press enter when update published database is displayed so update published database enter or maybe i have to cursor okay cursor okay so you have to press cursor to get it to update published database and hit enter and then it says in progress all right then i got an error over here unable to establish high speed communication you can usually correct this error by selecting options from the menu and entering a 5 or 10 into the COM port adjustment. After doing this, please turn your KLN94 AM USA off and then back on, then try your update again. Okay, so I'm going to try and update this. Okay, so the setting that needs to be adjusted to make this work is up here in options and preferences. Uh, then right down at the bottom, COM port adjustment. It told me to try five or 10. I tried five first and got the same slow speed warning. Okay, so I went through the same process and uh, changed that rate to 10. I went over here um, and it says estimated load time 14 minutes. Um, I'm gonna click approve. It's erasing the old Aero database, which is a little concerning, but because uh, there's no going back at this point. But hey, we can fly with our eyes too. So it's erasing that old database. This says that it's it's erasing the previous database, so they jive, um, and it should start loading it. So uh, once I make some progress here, I'll check back. My uh, phone that I'm videoing this with is dying right now, so. I'll go get that on a charger. Oh, look at that, we're at 1%. I'll get some battery back in this phone and, uh, and I'll check back here when I make some progress. Thanks. All right, so I walked away to watch airplanes for a couple minutes and I'm up to 55%, uh, 56%. Uh, I can confirm that it does say 56% on the GPS itself as well, so we're making good progress. Uh, it's only been, I don't know, five or six minutes. So can't stand to sit here and watch it, I'll lose my mind. So I'm going to go watch some more airplanes. All right, so we're at 99%. Just flipped from 98 to 99. Now it says 100, and it says 100 on the GPS. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I'm just going to hang tight. It says, please wait at the top. Honeywell, or whoever made this, is at least courteous. It tells you what to do and tells you before it's going to screw up. It says, performing final verifications now. Uh, on the GPS, oh there we go, KLN94 database update complete, effective 336 to 422, it's not 326 yet, so 
maybe I'm illegal, but it's better than being, uh, I don't know, 20 years illegal. So we'll go over to the airplane here, Ow. and it says, published aero database update complete, please recycle power. Okay, so to recycle the power, you pull this little knob out and push it back in. I'm not going to do anything else. I probably could have unplugged that plug, but hey, we'll leave the plug down. Let it boot up here for a couple minutes. It takes a minute or so. If there's one thing that aviation teaches you, it's to be patient, not make hasty decisions. I tried uh, really, really hard to go get this airplane a couple times. Uh, and in retrospect, those were really hasty decisions and I probably would have regretted them. We ended up picking a really nice day to go get it. Uh, we had a really, uh, really cool deal come together with a, with another Mooney pilot, with another 63 uh, 20, M20C who picked us up and brought us over the Lake Michigan to go get it. And we flew it back home, up over the UP, down over Traverse City. And uh, now it's at home where we keep it in Sparta, Michigan, just north of Grand Rapids. So the weather's starting to get nicer and we're gonna be doing a lot of flying here pretty quick. Okay, so you're gonna hear some beeps here in a minute. We'll just go through these screens real quick. America is, expires April 22nd, 2020. America's land database created September 22nd, 2000. But the aero database is updated. I don't know anything about the land database. Maybe I'll have to figure that out. Uh, sure looks like we're in pretty good shape. Thanks for watching.